Hey, it's Justin Popovich here. I'm on the other side of the screen. I think it's going to be my left. I have to think really clearly. It's Sharon Sheldon. Sharon, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are things going? Hear me. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Uh, we're, we're both laughing because we just spent like the last half an hour trying to get this call started. We were trying to do an impromptu, you know, off uh, just off the cuff call. And here we are half an hour later, finally getting it started. Uh, People watching, I'm sure, can appreciate that. Technology that's going to go wrong with technology is going to be me. Yeah, no, I, I, this time might have been my fault too. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, so let's get right into it here. The, the reason I asked Sharon to join me today and I wanted to publish it live for you is uh, Sharon has just, uh, if you don't know her, she runs businesscontentplr.com and uh, she's got a phenomenal business. And those of you on my list have heard of her by now because I promote her stuff all the time because it's just that good. And she's just been through a really rigorous process of basically, I guess, Correct me if I'm wrong, Sharon, but basically re-architecting the back end of your site and I guess the front end as well, uh, where uh, she has a new affiliate platform. She has a new shopping cart uh, software running her whole website. And I thought it'd be kind of cool, A, to give people a little bit of a, a, a discussion behind the scenes of what's been going on here because I'm observing Sharon and watching what she's doing. And I know there's a lot of people that want to know sort of what you had to come up against. So did I give a good summary of what you just sort of accomplished at your website? Yes, absolutely, and it's been a long haul. Uh, <laughs> when did it start? Well, I've been wanting to do this for a long time because mm -hmm. I had a lot of problems with my old system, which was fine to get started with. It was pretty straightforward. It was a DL Guard, yeah. and it was good for basic shopping cart and download links, but it was missing a lot of the functionality that I wanted to be able to have for myself and offer people. Right. So it just has built up one little problem after another, customers asking for this and that, and I couldn't offer it. So, And also the site itself was looking a little dated, so it wasn't really part of my image. So I've been wanting to do it for a while, but every time I researched and looked at shopping carts, I couldn't find anything I liked. It, it, there was nothing that had the functionality that I wanted. Right. And, you know, because you've been going through this or you went through this for a bit yourself. Yeah, oh, no, it it's a... Uh... It's, it's, it's extremely difficult and there's, you know, you talk to 10 different people that are experienced in the online business world and you probably get 10 different suggestions of what to do. I asked a ton of people when I was researching this stuff and I know you and I were kind of trying a lot of the same stuff and what you ended up going with, I thought was a great solution. Let's, t let's quickly, for the people watching, because I think this, this will help a lot of people. Before you were on, uh, your affiliate program was uh, Jam J Rocks, or I forget the J Rocks Jam. J Rocks yeah, Jam. Jam. And then your front end, your website itself was WordPress on some theme. I forget what Genesis. theme. Genesis. Genesis theme, yeah. and uh, and your shopping cart was DL Guard. Now right. you're now you have a new WordPress theme, a new shopping cart which is WooCommerce, and a new affiliate platform which is iDev Affiliate. Correct. And yes. do you want to share what theme you're you're using for your front end? Uh, the theme originally we were trying to keep the Genesis theme and um, or keep the Genesis platform and take a theme that would work with WooCommerce, but we just had one issue after another. We couldn't get it to work right, okay. so we ended up going with one of the Woo themes called Definition. Got it. Because it's actually built for WooCommerce. Right. So with all the problems we were having, I said, look, you know, let's just go with one that's built to go with that shopping cart, which is always the best if you can. Right. If you can use it that way. And iDev Affiliate, I mainly went with because, firstly, it looked like one of the best affiliate programs out there, it had the functionality I wanted, and it integrated with WooCommerce. Yes. It integrated nice and smoothly. You know, it was really, they, they had already set it up to integrate. So right. So that was a big difference, too. Right. Um, and, and I mean, a lot of the stuff you're doing, one of the interesting comments you said at the beginning of this is that what you had before was fine for when you were just getting started, but your old system wasn't going to support the things you wanted to do moving forward. And I think there's a lot of people watching that maybe at that stage where they've, they've had, you know, a year or two experience and they're starting to make more sales, they're getting more customers. Now they're looking long term and it's, and they're thinking, is this really going to be the type of platform that I that I want to move forward on. I've reached that stage a few different times in my business, and every time, and I, I think you're going to agree with me here. Every time you you go out to Google and you start searching around, and you think there should just be one solution, there should just be somebody to tell you, well, here's what you do next. But the truth of the matter is, there isn't. And you start asking around, you realize a lot of people actually custom build or tack together different pieces of software, even with with what you did here. 
I haven't necessarily seen a lot of people using this particular um, series of configurations. It's going to work great for you, and it took you a while to get it running. But I think the big lesson learned here, or the aha for me, is that there is no one right way of doing this stuff, unfortunately. And that's one of the challenges as online business owners that we have to be prepared to, to go up against and win. And it requires a lot of patience. I know you you probably read, you wanted to tear your hair out a few times, right? It's frustrating. <laughs> a few? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but it's, but it's reality here. I mean, where I got to the point, I said, am I really making a mistake doing this? It, you know, the other thing was working. It wasn't working the way I wanted it to, but it worked. Yeah. And here is this one thing after another and everything I every time I looked at solutions, there was something that it did that the solution didn't have. Yes. Just something. And I had a list of my wish list of what was important and I'd say, Okay, it has this, 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 but it doesn't have this and this and that's really important too. Yeah. So what am I gonna do? Yeah. And I didn't mind spending money. It was perfectly fine. I looked at the expensive solutions, but they had their problems too. And I spoke to people who had used them and they said, look, you know, it's not, there are going to be issues with those also. So I yeah, exactly. put list together and it was a matter of picking what had the most of my wish list. It's still not perfect. It doesn't have everything I want, right. but it has the main things that my customers need. Yeah. And that would be the most important. And for my affiliates, hopefully, I mean, you'll be able to tell me once we get yeah. going. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, so on that note, if you, care to share what what would be one of the top one or two things that you wanted to have like that you were looking for that maybe didn't exist before because because i'm really curious why you went with woocommerce i've seen quite a few people shift to woocommerce in the last year uh, i've been looking at it for some of my business that i run but i'm not sure exactly if i want to go there what was it that made you pick that and what were you looking for well it's you know it's still not the best solution but it had most of what i wanted i don't like the fact that it's built on the back end of WordPress that it's a plugin. Because yes. Whenever you have a plugin, there's going to be problems. And it relies on a lot of plugins. Yes. That, so that in itself can be a problem. So that was one of the things that was really pushing me away from WooCommerce all along. Also, all these plugins. But in the end, it had most of what I wanted. It had um, a shopping cart that was a real shopping cart, you know, with digital products. People talk about shopping carts, but to me, they're not. They're just a checkout. Yes. They're a way to check out yep. and buy one thing. To me, a shopping cart is you go in and you see a variety of things that you want and you put them in your shopping cart. You, know, you wouldn't go into a supermarket, go and get what you wanted, go to checkout, pay for it, yeah. put it in the car, go back, get your next thing. That's It's just not a shopping cart. Yeah. So there are a lot of great solutions for digital products, but nothing perfect, nothing that was a true shopping cart. So WooCommerce is, it's built for physical products and for digital. So that was one thing. And it had to have uh, the ability to create an account where people could go back and get their digital downloads. And that was key, absolutely key. Because I always would get people coming back a year later, even a week later, my hard drive crashed, I can't find what I bought before, I don't remember what I bought before, can you look it up? And we look up every single one and have to resend all the links. So it was a pain for them, it was a pain for us. So right. that was really critical. And then also all the coupon features. You know, before I could do a product discount and I could do a cart discount. And half the time the cart discount had issues with the affiliate system. Whereas I should be able to do expiring ones and customer specific ones and affiliate specific ones and you know loyalty ones and all sorts of different combinations and that I can do with WooCommerce. So just being able to give offers to people and have that flexibility is just part of selling. It's part of running a business to have that flexibility. Right. And um, the whole shopping experience, having a, a cleaner look. A lot of sites are very outdated, and I. My image is meant to be more professional, so my site should reflect that. And right. that is more the theme, but the WooCommerce platforms and their themes are much cleaner and more modern looking. Yeah, well, and I and I can uh, I can attest like I I still haven't integrated a shopping cart at all, so I do I I still have the DL guard, and I get exactly what you're saying. You know, we have we we do a lot a lot of single launch products, or we have people that might come to our website and buy a handful of things. But you're right. It's single purchase, check out, go back and buy another thing. So that's inconvenient. That's costing us sales for sure. And then we get people saying, well, what's my download link for this product, that product? And then sometimes at our help desk, we'll have somebody that has to go through and look up their email address and then manually collect it for them and send them an email. 
So that we still haven't solved that problem. So I can totally respect it. part of the reason for this uh, interview is a little self-serving. I wanted to pick your brain and steal some of your ideas, <laughs> but I'm yeah, sure other people. That you would sort it out before I did. I was waiting for you. I know you. <laughs> you were <laughs> waiting for me to do it. Well, and, and it's funny because I like that we're having this conversation on video too, or just being candid and upfront with people that are watching is that I went, I went pretty deep down this hole that you just came out of. And, uh, and then I ended up coming back a number of different times to the existing system that we're using that you didn't want to do. You actually made the leap and, and, and did it. So I really respect that. Uh, and the reason for us, and I think you experienced a bit of this problem too, is that the deeper I would go and, exp and experiment with a solution, I would pay money to have consultants set up software for me. I would buy these, other, like, you know, I bought a, a member, I bought all these different platforms. That's not cheap to get, buy the software, hire somebody to set it up, do a test and realize it doesn't work. You can only do that so many times. Uh, and then while that's all happening, you still need to run your business. We still had to bring new offers to the market, uh, generate revenue. We have a lot of people that we pay on a week to week basis just to keep our business going. So if we don't have those things coming in, uh, that's a bit of a problem for us. So for me, uh, I'm really impressed by the fact that you're able to keep your business moving forward and implement uh, a new system like this that I'm sure costs you not just money, because I know you spent a good deal of money doing it, but also your time. Um, how, do, how do you feel about all, all of that? What, or do you have any advice for someone like me or anybody watching that I still haven't made a full switch over in my platform um, do you wish that maybe you, you balanced it better or were you happy with how you balanced it? Do you wish that you maybe had been able to make more sales or generate more revenue while you were going through this? Did you, did that hurt a little bit? I'm not sure how much you want to share, but I'm just curious. No, it definitely hurt. What ended up happening was, um, and I was just talking to my web developer about this because of course I did hire someone to help me with this and we were trying to figure out what we could have done better. And one part of it was, um, we did keep trying to set a date to go live, and what would happen is it would take a little too long. Firstly, she was had other projects going on as well, so she she's a good friend of mine, so she was helping me, and it was uh, you know she was helping me out. So yeah, a bit of both, and um, she couldn't commit all her time, focus time, and whenever there's a problem, you have to put it aside till you can figure it out but then you still have a business you have to run at the same time, like you said. Yeah. So what happened is we got to the, we were getting to the point with a test version of the site where we'd have a problem and I'd say, and she'd say, don't make changes to the other site yet because those aren't going to be, they won't show up when we switch over. I, said, but I have to, I have to keep my business going. So yeah. I have to launch a product, do it all on my, I have a special offers site, where, which I use Optimize Press for. Right. So I would just do it there. That was fine and then copy over. So everything was a delay each time, each time, but you have to keep working. You have to keep the money coming in. And I had plenty of delay. I had one period where we were really trying to get it done so it could go live and something came up. I think it was, um, was when we were trying to get, use a, a WooCommerce theme that was, it wasn't built by WooCommerce. It was meant to go with Genesis. And we thought we had it working and the cart just wouldn't work. And I said, okay, we're just going to have to put this on hold because I can't just stop running in my business. Yep. I have to get another product out and keep going. Yeah. And there were, you know, and she said, fine, no, we'll come back to it, get your launch done. And two weeks later or so we went back again, back to it. So that definitely delayed us by at least a couple months having yeah. to do that at least a couple times. No, so, but you know uh, what, your, your story, right. your story is a good one because that's ultimately what it takes. And, the, and there's always some new challenge. There's always some kind of delay. There's a test of patience. There's a test of your persistence. And I, I find, I mean, as you scale your business and you, you become more successful, these things, you can handle them sometimes more quickly and easily, but it doesn't really go away, does it? There's always some kind of new challenge. And this one, your, your story, I thought was kind of cool to share. Um, gave, it also gives me a little bit of excuse, an excuse to, to let people know and plug your, uh, your, your new platform because I know you've got uh, a special coupon running right now on the new WooCommerce uh, integration and it's running and it's working from what we can tell, right? <laughs> it is definitely working. I've okay. got a coming through. I've got a couple of affiliate commissions coming through. Excellent. So yes, it's working. The so, email hasn't been as reliable as I want. And that's a, a server issue, I think. So okay. that's not my Aweber. That's um, 
and this is a problem people might have as well. I don't know if you've run into it where if you're on a shared server, sometimes email doesn't go through. I don't oh, know okay. if you had anything like that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm on a dedicated server. Under. I'm on a dedicated server. Okay. So, yeah. I, and, and on that note, if, if your business is doing any more than a couple of thousand dollars in revenue a month, get on a dedicated server. Ours costs us like 170 bucks. Uh, I'm on, I can get direct support in an instant. You don't have a lot of those problems. So that's, a, that's an obvious right. next step. Um, Thank you. Uh, so what is, so the coupon, I, I'm going to have the links, but the coupon is sub, celebrate 30. Yes. And that goes until June 25th yes. and it's 30% off everything. Correct. Yes, and you can use it as many times as you want. Oh, so that, so amazing deal for people watching, but also roles reverse. Think of it as the business owner. Now I'd, I'd love the ability to do that for a weekend, you know, say go into my, my website and everything's 30% off. I can't do that right now. I'd have to create some kind of special offer for that to happen. So your investment is paying off by doing this and people watching may be getting some ideas. Well, hmm, if I sell XYZ, I could do the same thing. Uh, you will need to look at something like WooCommerce or a proper shopping cart to pull it off, but now you know you're going to get the reward from doing that. So good on you for doing that. I'm going to go back and poke around a little bit. Um, I also wanted to ask you. We'll do it for, on another call because I don't want this to go too long. I just want to make it short today. But maybe on the next call we do together, let's talk a little bit about the affiliate platform and that whole discussion. Uh, I I know some of the reasons behind the scenes why you went with IDev Affiliate, or that was one of your top choices. And that's probably one of my top choices if and when I do change in the future. Um, plus, there's this whole discussion on lifetime commissions versus last cookie commissions. And, <laughs> and uh, I think there's a lot of people that are confused. They don't really know what to make of all that. But that's, let's save that for another one, get people to come back to our next call. Oh, boy, that's a lot of controversy. <laughs> so there we go. Fun one. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that. We'll dangle that carrot for the next call. But for anybody watching, thanks so much. Hope this helps. Give you a little bit of behind the scenes. And see that you know Sharon and I are just just like you. We're you know we're online business owners trying our best to to get things to piece together. Sometimes we go through uh, immense challenge, but we all get through it, and we, and we can share stuff with each other. Hopefully, we all help each other out. Go support Sharon's uh, business. She's got some awesome content, and uh, you'll you get a tremendous discount for the next. We're filming this on the 13th of June, so you got 12 days if you're watching this before June 25th, 2014. And if not, who knows? Maybe there's something else going on at the time as well. But uh, thanks very much for joining me, Sharon. All right. Thank you. Talk to you soon.